In this video, I am going to be working with a Vishla puppy. This is Rigsby. He's about seven months old. And this is really his first session with me. He was just dropped off yesterday. The only thing I've really been doing so far is just seeing if he can get better at following food in my hand. So just having him be able to follow that food lure, which seems simple, but a lot of dogs do not do it well. Rigsby, good boy. Because once they're following that food lure, I can start doing things like shaping in my hand signals for things like sit and down and all that kind of thing. So that's all I've been doing so far. Um, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to go ahead and start off on teaching him how to leave something alone when I tell him to. And the cue I'm going to be using is leave it. I'm going to show you how this process goes. So what I want for him to do is if I... Come here, if I take something and drop it on the ground and say leave it, I want him to be able to leave that alone. All right, so at this point he has no clue what um, that command means. So I'm going to show you how I start to teach it. And it's going to be something that you can work on with your own dog. And I'm using just a regular six foot leash. I'm just using a uh, flat neck collar on the dog. And I've got some treats in my pocket here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to position the dog in front of me and I'm going to be dropping the leave it object behind me. This allows me to use my body to block if I want to. All right, so that's something that's going to be useful when you first practice this. I've got this little jerky chicken strip here that I know he does like. Hey bud. Position. Come here, come. Get the dog in front. I've got my left hand through the loop, right hand on the leash. I'm going to say leave it and drop. And then I'm going to use leash pressure as well as my body to block. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to release pressure on the leash, which he is not going for, so I'm going to say good. And I'm going to go ahead and feed there. Okay, so I'm feeding from my hand. There, I'm going to block again. Notice there's tension on the leash. I want to get rid of this tension on the leash. I'm going to back him up a little bit. Slack. Good. And I'm going to reward him for not going for it. And that's even better that he looked up. I'm going to feed there. Good. Okay, I'm going to pick this object up again, and we are going to repeat. Now, he did pretty well with that. He's fairly sensitive to what we could call spatial pressure, which means if I'm moving into him, he's fairly sensitive. Your dog may not be. So you may find that your dog is really trying to go for it for a longer period of time. It's really important that you keep that, um, you use the leash so you're, you're not letting the dog grab the treat on the floor. And then you can use your body language to push into the dog, all right? So let's do that again. I really want to position that dog where I want them at first makes it a lot easier to block them. Leave it, uh-uh, block, slack on the leash, reward, good. Good, show them access to it. He did not go for it that time. And step up and feed, good. And then we repeat. Leave it, uh-uh. And sometimes I'll use that little uh-uh um, kind of uh, tone in my voice and reward. Good. Okay. Repeat. Leave it. Better, right? He's still thinking about it. So watch what I can do is can uh-uh step in with my body to push him back a little bit. And I want these dogs when I'm working with them, I want them to get good at following food in my hand, but I also want them to be um, aware of if I'm trying to back them away using body language that I want them to move away from that pressure rather than trying to jump on me. It's really important that we teach our dogs to respect our personal space at times. Because dogs learn a lot better when you're using the correct body language. They're not very good at a verbal language until you um, teach them it. So it's best to um, understand what your body is saying to your dog and then start to overlay verbal cues on top of that body language. So let's see how he does here. Leave it. Uh-uh. And that time, 
He was going to be quick about it, right? You see how opportunistic he was going to be? So it's really important that you're ready when you first practice this with your dog. So we don't want them to start keep grabbing that object, right? Because then leave it means take it. So let's do it again. Leave it. Better. Good. Keep on. And so now I can even start rewarding him for moving actually away from the object. All right, so this is just kind of the first step. And I take you through this whole process on my online site, mydogtrainingspot.com. But this is one of the first things that you can start doing. Leave it. Good boy. That looks good. Good dog. Very nice. All right, that's it for this video. Go ahead and try to um, practice this with your dog. Very useful um, command once your dog gets good at it because it can be something, these puppies, you know, they pick up and they want to put everything in their mouth. So there's a lot of things that they need to learn that are off limits. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.